May you find happiness and peace. And may your home stand the test of time. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary. Today I'll be reacting to how to have real value in society, Charlie Keck and Candice Owen. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi. Um, so my question is, you guys um, were discussing blue collar workers and how they have a lot of wisdom, which I certainly agree with. I'm sure they do have a lot of wisdom. However, um, your guys' perspective more so sounded like they essentially have more wisdom or more knowledge than someone in academia. And my question is, why do you guys believe that blue collar workers and people um, in these laborious jobs have more knowledge than someone in academia? And is that rooted or what, how, how is that factually rooted? So I guess I would say, rather than saying wisdom, I would say that they have That's more real-world value and currency than somebody who's writing papers trying to transform the world from a classroom. And I, I genuinely believe that. I believe that there is more value in learning to work with your hands. There's more value in learning how to raise productive human beings. I, I hate the fact that women are being sold a bill of lies and being told that we should be competing with men and wanting to run executives of you know Fortune 500 companies. I, I believe that we absolutely flourish in our feminine roles and that the toughest job in the world is being a stay-at-home mom and raising good children. That's true. Um, so to me, when we shifted those values and we stopped realizing that these people actually have the most value to society, in, in society, we watched our social decline begin. And we wow. have essentially been within a managed social decline for the last 60 years, in my opinion. I, I would add to that, um, anyone has to take a sociology class or anthropology class here? Yeah, um, have a kid. You'll learn a lot more about human beings than anything a textbook can teach 100%, you. 100% true. <laughs> Experience always is going to override what it, you can it, learn in a book. By the way, I would say you conflated two words, knowledge and wisdom. They're not right. the same yeah. thing. Not. There's, a, there's a lot of knowledge here at Ohio State University. There's not a lick of wisdom in most of these classrooms. And what is the difference? Very simple. Knowledge is practical. How do you develop a medication? How do you navigate Build an airport? Build a house. Build a house. That's fine. Knowledge is important. Wisdom tells you whether or not you should do it. Wisdom is eternal. Wisdom does not change. Wisdom is the knowledge of things that will be true 200 years from now, and they were true 500 years before, because you're dealing with the same raw material. Human beings do not change. We are broken from nature, and it takes effort to create good people. I agree with Charlie and Candace 100%. You know, I, I love how they, they broke, broke this down. You know, Charlie came with this. It, she, she made her facts on women, you know, you know, the, the lies that have been told about women, you know, if women feel like they have to be out there, and I, I support that, you know, having a woman that can work, that can provide for herself, but at what cost? How is it affecting us now? Because now we are, we are making it look like um, the role women play at home is no longer important. Because, you see, when, when you have a, a child that is being raised or taught by his mom at this tender age, you know, nurturing them and all, you see, the child be becomes more and more experienced. They become more and more free. They become more and more open because they are getting their mother's love. And aside from that, they are learning. But now what, what we, we say is at, let's say, three months, let's say, okay, at, let's say five months, six months, our parents are working. So now they can't be around for these you know, children anymore. They are sending them to daycare where they, 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 they meet total strangers that take care of them every day. You know, and sometimes those strangers are not there every day. You can meet this person today, the next day you're meeting another person. So how do you bond? So now we, we give birth to children that whatever they learn, they learn it from their parents, you see. What we don't give birth to we don't nurture our children anymore. You know, we, we are not we are not there for them, we are not there to teach them what's good and bad. Sometimes you you, you, you when your child comes back home, you start seeing some traits, some behavior that they've learned in school. And you know this thing is not good, but you can't Take your time to teach them because, no, the next day you have work to do. And I think it's affecting us. It's affecting the society. It's making us bring out children that, that are not the way we were being trained. You know, when I was young, I know my mom wasn't at home every time. But at least I, the, the little time I had, you know, with her, she was able to, you know, teach me. She was able to nurture me. She was able to put, you know, correct me. You know, my, my mom is this kind of strict person. So she's more strict than my dad. So if I'm doing something wrong, she called me to order. And that is what I'm feeling. I feel like every, everything goes now. You know, a, a child can be doing this. And if, if you can't control the child at a very tender age, you can't control the child when the child becomes a bit older. So if you want to make or blend the child, make a child 
you know, stop a certain lifestyle or stop a certain behavior. It's better to do it at a younger age. And I think that's what Charlie is saying. He said, let's embrace our femininity. Let's embrace, there's no, there's no harm being a stay-at-home mom. You know, it's just that the, the economy is, is becoming so, so difficult that the man cannot just gather, you know, everything he needs to, to train his family anymore. You know, it's possible to have more and more, you know, different job, you know, trying to take care of your family. But if there's a help, you know, beside you, you can do way more than that. And I think that is what women are trying. They're trying to at least help out. But we are in, in that in helping out, we are depriving our children of so many things. And I think aside from that, Charlie made mention of um, you know, when it comes to blue blue worker and um, you know, people with their degree, I feel like experience beats anything, you know, it beats whatever you have been taught in school. You can they, they can teach you theory, you know, if you've not been to the work field. You are just like someone that I've not even had it. That that uh, what's it called theory at all? Because I remember when I was in school, I studied accounting and it was all about you know theory, theory, writing figures down and this. And the thing is, what is happening in the work field is different from what I've been teaching us because you know those those things we write down or they they teach us in class. They've created software for them that can it, that can help you do them easily. So why then do we waste you know a full semester learning something that? A software can can you can you can learn with your um, the software in a few minutes, or we waste four years you know preparing ourselves for something that we've not actually gone to the field to see for ourselves you know it's 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 painful, you see in, in, in let's say you're studying communication, you know they send you to let's say a, a TV broadcast you know s- um, station they send you to let's say the field to see what is happening because they're 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 preparing you for it, that is how it's supposed to be you know you give them that experience because experience beats this whatever you're learning in school you can you can you know graduate after four years and you uh you have been given a job and someone that have not been to the four years of the university can come there and put you through okay this is how we do it here this is how we do it here so what is the point sending you out there to the field you know you can you can do a semester in class the next semester in the field semester in class the next semester in field i feel it will prepare you more instead of just doing your four years in the classroom and you go out there looking like someone that have not <laughs> that that have no experience at all anyway i i love this so much and i love the fact that charlie was able to explain to this guy you know going to school is not bad okay but getting their experience is way way more important it's you see i've, I've seen people that have been with doctors you know they've they've been with doctors they've, they've been watching how doctors do things even if they are not allowed to do it because they don't have the license i'm talking about nurses um, nurses they, they don't have the license but they can do it they can if they have been given opportunity they can do it even way more than these doctors that just graduated but you know when when a doctor graduates and he's trying to let's say perform surgery on a, on, a, on, a, on a patient you as a nurse have no right to tell the doctor that what you are doing is wrong even if you know it is wrong because you have the experience you have seen several doctors perform similar surgery you can say it because they feel like you are not qualified enough to make that decision and that is what we are saying sometimes it's not about you learning in classroom sometimes it's about experience because experience changes this person can do this method today and it works the next day another method can overpower what you learned yesterday but when you're in the classroom they are they are repeating something over and over again what's level 400 or length is the same thing you're learning in level level 100 even if the theory is wrong you will still learn the same thing even if the theory is updated you will still have to learn the same thing except you are in the feed where you practice every day you you see that yeah this theory is is right though but it's a bit slow you can find a faster route that will get you the work done it happens when you have experience in the field anyway this is a beautiful one like i said i enjoy this and i want to see more videos from charles and you know candice i i love seeing them together because you know they 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 think alike they have you know like minds they, they they they've been in the field they understand this so they know how to you know go their way about any question you ask them <laughs> And that is what I love about them. You know, each time I watch them, I think I learn a lot. I learn a lot about what life and I learn a lot about, you know, um, how to see myself as equal as everyone. You know, it does not matter the color of my skin. We are all human. And like, if you have any recommendation, let me know in the comment section. If it's your first time visiting the channel, click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. And remember, bless.